Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Here's Ahmad Nasser from AhmadNasser.com and this is my channel, Stereo 07. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You gotta support us and I gotta be thankful for that. Um, in this video, I just wanna show you some of web design tricks that are gonna be helpful, beneficial for everybody in this field, especially for web designers. So let's begin. alright um, first thing as a web designer you should be an open knowledge so you, you should try to read everything around you see the trends what is the web talking about these days so there's a lot of technologies a lot of frameworks a lot of web development platforms you should care about not all but at least you should have an idea about each one of these because you gotta use one of the ideas here or there in some of your projects. In this video we're gonna show you simple tricks for especially for developer from designer perspective. So let's begin. Uh, first thing is the simplicity. It's a great idea in web design is to provide a simple design. I mean I wanna go to a website but I don't wanna uh, think a lot. I just wanna uh, just wanna take the information as easy as possible, as quick as possible. So it should be usable, it should be accessible, and take this hint with quotation, don't make me think. So this is the first common sense approach to web usability, is don't make me think. So look at Facebook, it's complex software, but it's actually it provides you with a simple interface and easy to do thing. And uh, this is about simplicity. Don't make me think. This is the first rule. This is the first heuristic rule. I mean heuristic, it's not a, uh, a theory and a proof. It's an experience more than um, a scientific. You know what I'm saying? So it's about the experience from web designers and so forth. They told you this is a heuristic. So anyway so let's go go to the next step uh, I just want to show you some of the uh, let me say famous phones that you can use in your website uh, for example Google phones will provide you with a list or a long list large list of phone faces that you can use in your CSS to uh, work with different phones uh, for me, I prefer and I recommend these two phones, Droid Sans and Segui UI. Why? Because they are flexible on all size screens and devices. Whether the phone is small or it's big, they remain um, cohesive, they remain uh, robust. So, and the most important point is the clear the clearness. You see the the the, the phone to be clear and uh, easy recognized by your eyes so this is very important point is the uh, clearness of the phones uh, let's talk about other thing which is the line height line height is very important especially uh, when you wanna uh, divide your website into uh, let me say post header and post content and sections and so forth you need to use the headers a lot and the paragraphs so as a standard way of organizing your HTML page use 1.1 for headings and 1.5 for paragraph as a line height this is very important point and it's gonna help your eyes a lot uh, I just want to talk about other thing which is the law of proximity. It's a theoretical law but it's really uh, gonna help you a lot in development and designing your website especially when you define your sizes. Uh, okay so we depend on number six a lot in this uh, law because we have uh, a unit of measurement which is the number six. I mean we have these six points so when we form a line using these six points we can form other line by multiplying by two so six times two is twelve 
6 times 3 is 18. So you can take this unit as your measurement. For example, for phones, you can use um, phone 6, phone 12, phone 18, 24, and so forth. Sometimes when you design a website for a specified uh, width, you have, for example, 960. But hey, wait a minute. 960, is it div it, it is there um, a way to divide 960 by 6? If there's a way and the reminder is 0, you take 960. If not, you search for the nearest uh, for the nearest number that is divisible it's able to be divided to 60. So there's a divisor for 6. For six. So you should care about this point a lot in your design. It's not a scientific but I say it's a heuristic and gonna help you because there's no factor sometimes you need to to put this um, uh, dev within the screen in the middle in, in the right middle I mean to be 100% accurate you have to use some unit and this unit is 6 here so I just modify all my measurement depending on number 6 I like this way and I use this way a lot and I respect this way it's just a way you have to take it or leave it alright so this is the first thing about the law of proximity uh, let me talk about other thing uh, other trend for web designers which is the grid calculator grid calculator is used a lot for uh, let me say professional web designers they use the grid uh, if you go to a website here, um, just want to highlight a website to you. It's uh, 29digital.net slash grid. Uh, they provide you with a grid calculator. So what do we mean by grid? A grid is a basic way to uh, organize your HTML page within columns. So we're talking about grid. We're talking about columns. Uh, so as you can see here, we have six columns. Each column has each column has a specified width, and we just uh, organize the whole website according to the grid. So, if you go to this grid calculator, they provide you with uh, a, a dependent calculation for all the entire values that you need in your website. Uh, for example, if you need a, a base font of uh, 14 they gotta increase your total width for this, of the container uh, if you need uh, let me say um, for example six columns they gotta give you a standard size and with a dependent font size to be easy to see and to, to be recognized with an easy um, uh, configurable or let me say customizable size that you fit the, all the screens so I like the grid but I don't use it a lot you know every, every designer has his way in design website but it's a way for designing your website so you have this tool you can rely on and it's, it's pretty much very awesome uh, let's move on to the next step uh, we want to talk about uh, the bootstrap bootstrap from, from Twitter is a toolkit uh, from Twitter designed to kickstart development of web application with a predefined CSS and HTML topography. When talking about topography, we're talking about line height, font, uh, font sizes, stuff like that, font families, forms, buttons. We have a predefined CSS file related to an HTML page. So you can take this as it is with all the predefined um, with all the predefined uh, values and attributes and um, you know style sheets so this is very awesome because it's a cross browser compatible you can run it on Chrome and Safari and Firefox IE it's gonna work the same so this is pretty much awesome tool you can rely on you can design a whole website with uh, in a fast way in a very very quick uh, development so this is very nice let's talk about box hitting 
you know we have a lot of uh, t tricks here box sitting when you need to make a box and put a header and a paragraph make sure that the color of the paragraph is a lighter version of the background color so if you have a blue take a uh, take the inverse of the background or let me not have an inverse a lighter version of the uh, background so if you have a blue you take a lighter lighter color from blue family so it's uh, I don't know it's a, a heuristic rule as I said but it's really beneficial uh, for color palettes, uh, palettes, there's a lot of harmonies for color you can choose from. There's a lot of websites provide you with uh, color harmonies. Whether you use Photoshop or Illustrator, you should care about palettes because you're gonna use these colors as your, um, uh, you know, basic color to build your design. So this is gonna be awesome. Um, let me choose about let me talk about this point this is very important designer are not original I mean uniqueness is not a matter in web design you have to provide a good quality a good design it's not about uniqueness it's not about originality originality it's not about creativity it's about to deliver to deliver a good and a great good design so this is a, is all about you can see here we have a, a bootstrap from github the button you can see the register uh, for now in Twitter or uh, for the Mac the button in the Mac in the Apple website they almost look the same but they look good and we care about this point is to provide a good quality um, you should care about icons because icons is um, um, is very beneficial and gonna help you, especially if you wanna provide with a human in a computer interaction and uh, with a great you know user experience. You have to use good icons because one icon is more than a thousand words. So. You have to care about icons and to use icon in the, in, in you know each icon in the right place. Uh, we have piicons.me. There's uh, other other websites here you can choose from, but it depends on your website and the type of icons. But it's really recommended to use uh, these icons. All right, people. Uh, let's continue with a bootstrap. You can go to boot, uh, to Twitter, to GitHub, the Dio, and bootstrap. You can download your copy here from bootstrap. You can see um, uh, all the examples related to the bootstrap. It's really awesome, and it's for free. Um, all right. Other things is the grid calculator here. You can see it, and you can download the bootstrap uh, example here. So when you download your good docs and you see a bunch of examples here uh, from hero to zero as you can see here. Uh, so this example is built on bootstrap and it's really uh, looking great here. So it's also responsive. So it's awesome. So you can rely on bootstrap configuration. If you go and open each file you can see uh, the default configuration related to each bootstrap file. We just include these two links, the CSS and responsive, and you just continue with the work, and it's really awesome. So uh, I hope you like this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, uh, Stereo 007. This is uh, my channel here, Stereo 007 in YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, and uh, also you can join us on Facebook. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.